Okay, guys, we did this in class, but let's do this again just in case you need a little extra help. You want to find a line that represents rise and run of the line. State the slope in simplest form. Now, guys, here's the solution right here. Now, yours would say show example. Well, down one, over one, okay? On the other hand, you can actually watch the video, and he'll show you exactly how to do it. So I'm really just going to be doing the same exact thing as he does, but maybe it'll help if I do it. So here we go. Let's do a new problem. Show question. Here we go. All right. In this case, some of you also mentioned that you had trouble seeing it. Well, guys, use the zoom right over here on the, on the tab. So, we want to draw a vertical line and a horizontal line to represent rise and run. Well, to do that, i got to find a place they cross. Well, here they don't cross correctly, not here. Hey, this cross is right, so I want to go up. But how far up do I go? I want to go up somewhere where I can get across to exactly the right spot. Oh, hey, look, that's one that works. So, let's go up, and then let's go over. So I went up one, two, three, four, five, six, over one, two. Up six, over two. Now, folks, I can't put that in because that's not reduced. So, hey, what about up three over one? As much as I love that, that can also be reduced because three over one is the same thing as three. Okay, guys, that's what we're looking for. You simply find any two points. You'll notice he used these two, whereas I went up here and over. Anytime you can get it to cross at one of those little cross points, that's what we're looking for because slope is rise over run.